All right, baffling bar lines for French horn and French horn rocks. All right, now in baffling bar lines, you're supposed to write in the bar lines. If you haven't done that yet, you want to do it. All right, now the idea would be you got to figure out a couple of things first. So what's the first thing you'd want to know in order to put bar lines in? Um, what would you want to know? What do you think? Okay, so you'd want to know the number of beats per measure. And so if you said that, you got it, good. Uh, and how do we figure out how many beats are in a measure in a song? Okay, that's right, the time signature. Time signature is 4-4, four, four, meaning how many beats per measure? 4, good. And what type of note gets one beat? That's right, the quarter note. Okay, so the top number tells you the number of beats. The bottom number tells you the type of note that gets one beat. All right, so then you have every four beats, you have to draw a measure line. So then the next thing you need to know is how long your notes are. So to start out with, you have two half notes. And how long are half notes? If you said two, that's correct. So two plus two is four. You draw a bar line after the second note, which is two half notes. All right. And then you just proceed along in the same manner, figuring out what your, your note values are, making sure they add up to four. I will tell you that the, at the end of the first line, they do give you the bar line. Just make sure it adds up to four. Okay. And at the end of the second line, they give you the bar line. So you're going to have to write three bar lines in the first line and three bar lines in the second line. All right. All right. So now same strategy with this. We want to say it first by a two measure phrase. So watch. One, two, three, four. Ta, 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 ti, ti, ta. So you want to say that. You want to make sure your foot's steady. Say it like I just said it. And practice that. Then pick one note. And again, it doesn't matter what note. I'm going to do it on a G. One, two, three, four. <laughs> And then the next step would be, guess what? Figure out what your particular notes are, right? I know I'm going fast in a way, like normally in a lesson at school, there'd be come kind of interaction between us. So um, I don't want to leave a lot of dead time on the video though. And so uh, if you ever, if I ask you a question and you're not sure what the answer is and you need to look it up, just hit pause, all right? So what your job now is to figure out the notes in the first two measures, hit pause if you need to. Okay, so they are F, A, C, 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 A. And I said this before, F, like when I'm saying F, A, C, 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 A. I'm doing my fingerings, right? All right. Um, so let's play it now. One, two, three, four. <laughs> You get the idea? Now, what you would do is you'd go through this whole song and do every two measures, figure out what the rhythm is, figure out what the notes are, uh, and then follow that process. Um, I should have played this at the beginning, but I'm going to play the whole song all the way through for you so you have an example. And your goal is going to be to be able to play along with me by next week or sooner. All right, here goes. One, two, three. So there you have it. So try to be able to play it along with me, you know, bye next time. Bye. Have fun.